This was me one year ago. I was depressed, lonely, and did not know what to do with myself. This is me now, glowed up and knowing somewhat of what I want to do. This was me before I started my fitness journey, and this is me during my fitness journey. These are the results I've gotten since I took time to focus on my internal and external glow up. If you want to know how to actually glow up, keep watching. Bro, I need you to come, sit down. If you're already sitting down, get a pen, get a paper or a notebook. This is my um, work notebook where I am plan everything i want to do like with videos instagram posts tiktoks and like other things you know so this is my video okay i've done research i literally stayed up till like yesterday i stayed up till like 2 a.m watching endless like watching endless glow up videos just so i could come up with something and then speak on it because i didn't want to come on here and talk like completely out of my bum you know i wanted to speak everything i've heard doing research going on pinterest going on youtube going on tiktok even instagram like those instagram pages that post like a bunch of quotes and all of that i made notes i did my work i have and then i've gathered like a bunch of powerpoints which are in this video on, on this paper sorry that i'm gonna speak on I'm gonna elaborate on them. I summarized everything. So, glowing up. You're here because you wanna glow up. Yeah, you know. Currently in South Africa and I think also Australia, it's winter. So, like, you're on that shit of like, I wanna glow up for summer. And the best time to start for glowing up for summer is definitely in winter. Like, I always go to the gym more in winter and, you know, do everything that I wanna do in winter. But then the weather's also like a little downfall because seasonal depression is a thing. It is a thing and I get it a lot. Like if the weather's not nice outside, then I'm going to be like kind of moody. But then I'm still going to get that type of motivation to get up and do what I need to do. So what is a glow up? I'm going to give you guys the definition of social media, which is the one off of Google and Pinterest and all of those other socials and the one according to me so a glow up is describing a significant transformation typically in physical appearance that is perceived as an improvement already i have an issue with this i have an issue why does it have to be mainly physical why can't you glow up internally as well like glowing up inside it's going to show on the outside as well so you're kind of working hand in hand but then glowing up outside trust that's only gonna like last you like one or two days like one or two days like the most i've done like i love making glow up videos i love glowing up in general and every single time i decide to do a glow up video or i glow up that thing of me feeling good or that thing of me like okay i glowed up i look pretty now it's gonna go away because i didn't try and attempt to do the internal so babe we need to we need to fix that google needs to fix that definition because i am not with it anyhow a glow up according to me is an act of self-care that results in you feeling good internally and externally let's elaborate on the two types of glow ups and how you can conjugate them and make them one glow up that has you feeling good and fresh and ready for summer in I don't know how many months. But anyways, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn your post notices so that you guys are notified every time I upload a brand new video. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Tip number one: establish a good skincare routine. You can literally have your skin going from this to this in like less than two months. If you cannot find skincare products that work for your skin and you've tried every single thing out there, go and consult a dermatologist. They know best. They will examine your skin and they will tell you exactly what to put on your skin. Start working out. You don't need to go to a gym, okay? I like going to a gym personally because looking around and seeing people working out is going to give me motivation to not just stand there and be use useless in the gym. But then if you don't have a gym membership, you don't afford a gym membership, 
and you have a gym in front of you like literally you have a gym close to your house make yourself a free gym pass like there are so many gym passes out there when i didn't collect my card yet i used to do gym passes um until they gave me an issue at this one gym that's a story for another day and i finally went to go collect my card and now i have a card and i can go it to any gym but if you don't have the capacity or you don't or, or you're not able to get yourself a gym membership or you're not able to make yourself a gym pass there are so many workouts on the internet there's some for abs there's some for small waist there's some for growing for growing your glutes thigh gaps literally enhancing your arms abs all of that like you can literally go on social media and you can lay out a mat or you can just do it on the bare floor and work out work out in your pajamas for all i care as long as you're doing some type of movement have a good shower routine because if you stank no matter how pretty you are listen listen like guys no matter how pretty you are no matter how pretty you are if you still if you stank that automatic that automatically makes you ugly like it like you like you're already not appealing to anyone but i'm not saying you need to be appealing to anyone but you like you're gonna feel that thing of like I'm ugly because I have a bad odor. Some people's odors are like, they cannot be fixed. Like it's actual doctor help. Like you need medical help to fix your odor. But then some people, it's just like you guys are afraid of water. Like guys, soap and water is not that deep. Roll on, not that deep. Dio, not that deep. And I'm pretty sure some schools have lockers. You can have a little pouch in your locker because I, I think most people have a pouch in their locker. I have one. It has perfume. It has pads and tamp tampons no i don't use tampons it has pads and panty liners it has um deodorant spray san a sanitary wipe and what else i don't know what else i forgot what else have a good makeup routine some people don't need makeup because they're just that beautiful but then you don't you don't need makeup actually like everyone's just gorgeous you don't need makeup you can have an everyday makeup and you can have a going out makeup. I have an everyday makeup, which is like, just like a like concealer underneath my eyes. It's like the no makeup makeup look, clean girl look. You can go search them up on TikTok. It's literally the best makeup look you will ever find. And it's mostly white people, but then I'm still do, I'm gonna still do it. I'm black and I'm gonna still do it. Cause it does still result in you having, looking like you have makeup, but then you, looking like you have no makeup on but then you do have makeup on it's just you enhancing your natural pretty features and then i have a foamy makeup which is the one i have on right now this is like going out makeup but then not without the lashes the lashes i'm only putting on tomorrow because i'm going out tomorrow so i'm gonna put the lashes on but this is like foamy makeup and then going out with the girls type of vibe lashes are stuck on sometimes i don't do that i just do it when i feel like I'm going to a fancy place and we're going to dinner at premium. Sleep for up to eight hours. Some people don't have genetic eye bags. My eye bags I've discovered are genetic because most people in my family have eye bags. So I'm like, okay, this kind of just got passed down to me. I can't do anything about it. I can make them lighter, but they won't go away. You know, like eyes rolling and all of that. But sleeping up to eight hours, I'm telling myself this shit because I only slept for like, I slept at five to be exact. I finished planning the video at 2 a.m. So and I slept at 5. And I woke up at like 11. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I only slept for 6. And I don't know. I kind of feel fresh. If I sleep up for 6 hours, I feel happy automatically. That is all for glowing up externally. Now let's go into glowing up internally. Which is your mind, your body, your health. Set boundaries between your school life and if you do have like a side hustle to your work life and your personal life which is just you no phone none of that like you're not filming anything i struggle so much with this especially my chair keeps sliding off i'm sorry especially with the school thing because school kind of finds its way to overlap into my personal life and then i just have a bad mental health all of a sudden but setting times for like 5 5 a.m to like whatever seven o'clock what time do you guys get to school eight let's just say eight eight a.m to like i come out at three to like three sometimes i come out at four five that's your school life and then personal is just 
you chilling you relaxing you're not thinking about school you're not thinking about anything else you need to stop feeling guilty for taking time for yourself for watching movies because school is draining it is draining it chows so then you coming home and sleeping that you shouldn't feel bad for sleeping you like you shouldn't because if you feel bad for sleeping you're gonna just go mad like you're asking for yourself to go mad like why are you going mad you want to sleep you're tired you spend over eight hours at school you have to come home to like nagging people asking you what's going on with your schoolwork just block those people out like block them niggas out and sleep sleep you wake up and then you do school work again because trust when you sleep and you're gonna wake up at night i can't sleep so then i'm like i'm not gonna watch a movie i'm gonna put that ipad away and i'm gonna work that's what you need to do you need to set boundaries you need to have times for when you're focusing on your school when you're focusing on your side hustle and you're focusing on your personal life your personal mental health and that also ties in with the second tip which is prioritizing your mental health journaling meditating working out yoga there's so many ways to prioritize your mental health painting painting is such a good one even if you're not a good artist like just doodle something and like paint over it it's like it's so therapeutic i love painting and i can't paint for shit but i love it so much because it takes my mind off of other things that are happening in my day-to-day -day personal life try journaling in the morning and at night so here's the journal prompt that you should use in the morning what you're waking up and you're grateful for what you want to accomplish today and then your daily affirmation so put like a key affirmation like i am enough i am beautiful i look gorgeous i am you know but i don't know what yourself like feel feel good you need to feel good to look good you need to feel good make a vision board you don't necessarily have to make a vision board when you take pictures and you collide them and whatever whatever you don't really have to there's the digital vision board we can just use canva and like make cute little photos or collages and how you want your life to be and there's the ones you can actually make in real life you get yourself a pen board you print out a bunch of pictures which is the one i want to do at the end of this year drink a lot of water drinking a lot of water flushes out all that dirty shit so drinking water the moment you wake up you're cleaning out your kidneys you're cleaning your body like you're just cleaning and you're revitalizing and also drinking a lot of water helps you get clear skin so that ties in with the skincare on the excellent love so drinking water can work externally and internally so that is a big part of blowing up avoid social media in the morning avoid going on your device in the morning get up make your bed get up make your bed go wash your face brush your teeth go downstairs eat breakfast or just go to the kitchen make yourself a breakfast eat and then you shower you get ready i usually have to play music while i'm showering so i will take my phone and just play some music and then shower do everything then once you're all sat situated you're ready like you're ready to take on the day then you go on your phone then you check your messages check your notifications scroll on your for you page for a little bit and putting a time limit on your phone helps so much organize your room i recently organized my closets last night and may i tell you i've never breathed so much like i've never cruised through picking out a fit in so long like the outfit that i picked out i didn't mess up my order for i just was able to like pinpoint what i wanted to wear and it didn't give me any problem i already mentioned meditating i recommend you guys do manifestation meditation the mindful meditation positive energy meditation and the chakra meditation the one with the colors going down so that you because my chakras like are always like skew and then meditating kind of brings them in line it's like the spinal thing i i don't know i don't really know a lot about a chakra i do want to research more about a chakra so that i know exactly what i'm saying about a chakra but yeah take time to get close to your faith if you believe in crystals and the universe and take time and invest your time to get close to that because that's something that has to do with mindfulness and if you're all about god and jesus and praying just take time open your bible read your bible some of you need a bible in your lives because what are you doing rest in peace I, what's his name alia find out your energy givers and your energy drainers 
so if your energy givers is like doing your skincare making your bed being mindful meditating and all those things that's what gives you energy that's what fuels you up also food and everything and if energy trainers is your toxic friends like when you hang out with a friend and you come back so tired from hanging out with them like all you want to do is sleep cut them out why are they making you tired they're meant to give you that they're meant to give you that energy why are they making you tired you know so just like cut them out you know and be best friends with yourself you cannot go out and find a best friend when you haven't been best friends with yourself in the beginning you first need to love yourself before you love someone else stop being hungry for a relationship because it's winter babes summer's coming you need to get your boons out you're gonna get your boons out in summer and then and please don't date in summer that's that's horrific <laughs> that's horrific that's horrific but if you do congratulations i hope your relationship lasts yeah okay next set a morning routine and set a night routine a perfect mo not like a perfect morning routine a morning routine that fits your schedule my school morning routine is pretty set like it never changes it's never changed i don't see it changing anytime soon my night routine however it varies it like kind of goes it depends on the day so i have a morning i have a morning routine that's stable it doesn't change but my night routine i have a night routine for each and every day so my night routine these days since it's holiday it's been more chill it's been more kind of relaxed i've been sleeping i've been watching movies i've been chilling but then when it's school time i kind of have to shift around whatever i'm doing i have to shift around my movie time i have to shift around my filming time editing time so that i'm able to get done my schoolwork and then i also am able to get done my editing and then i can sleep so it kind of shifts and my sleeping times also move around a lot my sleep schedule is kind of dizzy at this point so that's my two cents on glowing up internally and externally if you guys found this video helpful if you did please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and turn your personalities so you guys notified every time i upload a brand new video i love you and i'll see you in the next one